Hi guys. So as I mentioned in the last 8 horse Briggs video that I did, I still need to make that last bit of the intake manifold to go between the carb and the rubber connector. So I finally managed to hack out a great big lump of aluminium from a piece that I found at the uh, sort of metal recycling plant and I've got it mounted in the four jaw chucks so first thing I'm going to um, do a pilot hole down the centre and then make a bigger hole and then bore that out and then I'll have to see whether I go from there whether I try and turn down the outside diameter of this side or whether I um, turn it round and grip it from the hole that I just bored. We'll see. Okay, so that's the hole to start it off. Now I can drill a small pilot hole hole all the way through, and then I'll open that out to with a bigger drill bit so that I can get the boring bar in there. Okay, so that's it drilled out with the first pilot hole. Then I'm going to uh, step it up to a bigger drill bit that I can will make a hole that I can fit the boring bar through. You don't want to sort of go straight in with a large drill bit because you sort of putting too much strain on the lathe and things and you'll probably get a bad cut so it's better to sort of go through lots of small steps going up to the size that you want rather than try and just jump straight in at the uh, finished size. Okay so now I've got the centre board out I've uh, turned it, taken off, turned it around, put it on the three jaw chuck with the jaws on the inside opening outwards into it. Now you've got to be careful to sort of take very shallow cuts with this because the three jaw, you know, if you've got the jaws gripping outwards, they haven't got as much grip as if you've sort of got them in the centre like you would in like a normal drill or something. So now I'm going to turn down the outside to make a cylinder. Okay, so here it is. I've finished turning the outside and both the flanges, so it's still got the rough shape of what I start sort of hacked out of the block to start with. Um, as you can see, I've marked two holes for the uh, bolts to go through so I'm just going to drill those and then probably won't be able to see but I've scored I've scribed the uh, line of the outside of the flange so drill the holes and then cut that out and it'll be done. Okay so this is the uh, finished piece um, I had to file the holes slightly because I got them slightly wrong you might see they're filed out sort of slightly oval shape because um, it was difficult to get the uh, bolt holes to match up with the carb and to get the manifold and the outlet of the carb, sort of concentric. Um, slightly wonky shape on the flange but it's not going to matter. Uh, I'll tidy that up later. Um, it's got a nice smooth bore on it so um, yeah the next thing will be assembling the engine which hopefully I'll get done in the next couple of days and then I'll have it up and running so uh, yeah check back in a couple of days and I have, should have it all looking good.